Hello students, uh, welcome to this demonstration video related to the practical on flip flops. You might have gone through the introductory lecture uh, video on the flip flops and uh, you might have gone through the all the questions posted in your Google classroom, uh, the quiz based on this uh, flip flops. Now we are going to see the demonstration of the practical. The demonstration of the practical is uh with respect so uh, this is the sr flip flop this is jk flip flop d flip flop and t flip flop uh the jk flip flop is having preset and clear here also preset and clear and preset and clear is there uh, but uh, in these blocks uh, due to internal connections uh, interchanged this is clear and this is preset here also this is clear and this is preset but here this is preset and this is clear this can be used uh, to preset the status of the flip-flop while turning on the flip-flop or while powering on the flip-flop circuit now please take down these steps this is for the sr flip-flop uh, then this is for jk flip-flop the flow of the uh, demonstration of the practical this is d flip flop and t flip flop so now we will go for the actual demonstration so this dtk m3 uh, flip flop board we are going to use with our digital trainer kit dtk24 now you are familiar with this dtk24 board these are the input switches that can be used as a inputs to the flip flops here you can see this L19 is a positive going pulse here negative going pulse can also be applied to the flip flop but all these flip flops are positive edge triggered uh, or uh, positive pulse is required for the triggering the uh, flip flop so this T2 L19 this with this uh, switch the, the manual pulser we are going to use to apply the clock pulse to these circuits this plus 5 volts and ground is used for the supply to the board and these are the leds which are used as a output from the circuit so now we start to build the circuit so we give supply to this board first ground ground over here then S and R inputs so this is S input R switch to the output Q to first LED then Q0 that is the complement output to second LED so now our circuit is ready these are the input switches these are the output leds now clock has been remained so we will connect this clock to this t2 or this manual pulser so now we turn on the kit now you can observe uh, here i will make it 00, zero first so right now you can observe over here the green LED is on means Q0 is 0 now. Now we are going to verify the first row of a truth table. When I make both the inputs 0, 0 and if I apply this manual pulser, you can observe over here that the LED status is not changing. It is as it is. We will check third row directly now. If I make this s1 uh, sorry s1 and r0 if i press the clock pulse the green led should change to red so now i am applying the clock pulse now you can check over here the flip flop status has been now changed to set because s is 1 r is 0 so set so flip flop has been set after this if i again make 0 0 we are checking this first row now the current output is one red led that is the flip-flop is in a set state now 
if s and r are 0 0 if i apply the clock pulse no change is taking place in the output now we will check second row over here if s is equal to 0 so s is 0 and if r is equal to 1 so i am making it r is equal to 1 currently the output is the flip flop is in a set state because q is red now output is 1 we have set the input s0 and r1 in such scenario if a clock pulse is applied the flip flop status should change to reset so this red led should change to green so now i am applying the clock pulse you can observe over here the red led has been changed to green okay in the same way if i make now s and r 0 0 and if i apply the clock pulse the reset state of the flip flop will be maintained as it is so we have verified the sr truth table 0 0 the status will be remain as it is whatever the previous status that will be retained if s is 0 r is 1 the flip flop will change to reset state if s is 1 r is 0 it will change to set state or the led will glow red one one state is not permissible is not allowed in a sr flip flop so this is the sr flip flop so now we see the jk flip flop practical so this is ground this is vcc this is clock pulse reset input this is clear these are the two j input this is k input The clock pulse I have connected wrongly, it is to be connected to pulsar, not to the input switch because manual pulse we are going to view from here. The output LED is that is now our circuit is ready. Uh, this is the power supply VCC ground. Uh, these two blue color wires switch one, switch two. This is J, this is K, this is preset, red is preset, black is clear. This is the output LED Q this is yellow is Q bar now we will check this JK flip flop truth table and this yellow wire is the clock pulse manual clock pulser to give a clock to the circuit now I am turning on the kit if I turn on the kit you can see all the both the LEDs Q1 Q LED and Q bar both are red this is not as per our assumption that the Q bar should be a complement of Q. Means if Q is 0, Q bar should be 1. If Q is 1, Q bar should be 0. You will wonder why it is happening. Actually, you can observe over here, the preset and clear, if you see the switches, these are in an off state. So, preset is having also 0, clear is also having 0. So, if you refer to the circuit diagram of SR flip-flop converted to a JK flip-flop by using a NAND gate and a feedback from Q and Q bar in that a preset and clear is also shown in that preset and clear is the input to the last NAND gate which is at the output stage so if both are zero then uh, ultimately you will get Q and Q bar both are as one so therefore right now the JK flip-flop will not act as a normal JK flip-flop so if it is to be used as a JK flip flop preset and clear should be connected to VCC so therefore this preset and clear we will connect to VCC now if you see here preset and clear has been connected to VCC currently the output is the flip flop status is uh, flip flop is in a reset state because Q is over here is 0 ground if you want to start flip flop in a set state that also you can be uh, you can do only if for a set state 
you have to first connect this preset that is the red to zero first then it will start in a uh, preset state means q is 1 means the flip flop in a uh, uh, set state and again you have to connect this preset input to the vcc now when both the preset and uh, clear are at vcc now your jk flip flop is ready to be used now we will see row by row when j is 0 and k is 0 and if a clock pulse is applied the output is whatever the previous output before the clock pulse that will be remain as it is now your flip flop currently is in a set state the led is red so if i apply the clock pulse you can observe the led that is after applying the clock pulse there is no change in the output so previous output is as it is now we will see second row that if s is 0 uh, j is 0 and k is 1 so here these are the two inputs j is 0 and k is 1 if j is 0 k is 1 the flip flop should go in a reset state means q should be 0 now currently before the clock pulse q is in a set state that is a uh, LED is red so if i apply the clock pulse when j k are 0 1 it should turn off so it should turn to green so i am applying the clock pulse observe the led it has changed to green now so 0 1 reset state now if i make uh, right now again if i want to check the first row over here i can make k again 0 and if I apply the clock pulse, you can observe over here, the green LED is not changing. So what are the previous state that is maintained as it is. Now we will see the last row that is when both the inputs are J and K are 1, 1. Now you can observe the flip flop that the truth table says that the output will toggle. Means whatever the previous output, its complement will be the next output after the clock pulse. So currently the flip flop is in a reset state. If I apply the clock pulse, it will turn to red set state. I am applying the clock pulse, it is changed to red. Again if I apply the clock pulse, it will change from set to reset. So many, as many times I apply the clock pulse, the state of the flip flop is changing from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. So this is JK flip flop. Now we can check the third row also if j is 1 and k is 0 uh, this i have changed because preset and clear should be 1 1 okay so now if j is 1 k is 0 if i apply the clock pulse right now you can observe that flip flop is in a reset state q is 0 green but if j is 1 k is 0 it should change to set state so led should turn to red so if uh, j is 1 k is 0 if i apply the clock pulse observe over here the green led will turn to 1 and this we have already seen if both are 1 1 if i apply the clock pulse it will toggle okay now we will see the d flip flop here the supply is given this is the D input, red color pin is the D input switch 1. This is the clock manual pulser. This blue is the preset over here. I have already mentioned in the uh, lecture video that uh, here there is a mismatch over here, internal connections incorrectly connected over here on the display. So actually this is the preset and this is the clear. So I have connected here preset here and clear over here. This red is the Q output and q bar is the black color uh, second LED. now when i turn on the kit i have turned off all the input switches over here so you can see right now here both the leds are on because preset and clear are zero zero we know that if you want to use any flip flop the preset and clear should be connected to vcc before normal operation of the flip flop so if i want this uh, flip flop d flip flop output should be in a set mode what i should do i should connect the preset to ground and clear to vcc so now this q is one red led and q bar that is the green on 
so your flip flop is right now in a set mode and after that you can connect your preset to vcc so now your flip flop is ready to used as a d flip flop now currently the flip flop is in a set mode now we will we know that for a d flip flop as the uh, j input is given as with a uh, not get as a input to the k so only these two rows second row and third row are valid for a d flip flop so in a d flip flop if you give j uh, d is equal to 0 means here only one input i am using red color uh, uh, wire first switch so currently it is zero over here so if you give input 0 and if you apply the clock pulse the output is that the flip flop will be in a reset mode so this should change to the green so output should be zero the flip flop should go from a set mode to the reset mode so i am uh, applying the clock pulse observe the led it is turning to the green so it turned to green now now we will observe third row that is if input is 1 so i apply the 1 over here okay so now if d is 1 means actually if d is 1 means uh, with a not get k will get 0 means actually this is the row if d input is 1 if d input is 1 the output should be flip flop should go into a set mode so i observe the led now i am applying the clock pulse uh, this green led should turn to red that is the flip flop should go from reset to set and after that as the input over here is 1 right now if i apply the clock pulse the output will remain as it is because already it is in a set mode so it will remain in a set mode only, only these two rows are valid for a d flip flop now it is a t flip flop again same as it is this is preset this is clear first i will make all the switches in a off position i turn on the kit i make all these you know off position okay now again same q and q bar both are on over here so we should make sure that preset and clear should be vcc then one of the state uh, your t flip flop is now currently the flip flop in, in is in set mode because q is 1 q bar is 0 q is red led is turned on over here now in a t flip flop we know that from a jk flip flop first row and last row are valid because when you connect here now this t input that is this switch is used currently the switch position is zero so actually if we discuss in considering jk flip flop this is also zero this is also zero this is a t flip flop over here okay so in a t flip flop if input is zero and if you apply the clock pulse in whatever the state your flip flop is there that will remain as it is so right now it is in a reset mode if i apply the clock pulse it is in a reset mode okay now if i connect it to vcc now i have connected it to input to 1 and it, now if i apply the clock pulse you can observe that it will 1 1 qn bar means it will toggle so green led the reset flip flop will change to the state uh, set state so if i apply the clock pulse green will change to red again if i apply the clock pulse current state is set but it will go to reset state so this is the toggling happening due to the input one given to the t flip flop okay now if it is in a set mode at that time if i make output input to zero over here so t is zero over here so whatever the previous output that will remain as it is so now if i apply the clock pulse with the input zero then it will remain in a whatever the previous state as it is now change not changing the output but if i make one input it will toggle changing the state 